A few years ago, an old diesel tech who had been wrenching longer than I've been alive told me something I'll never forget. Most engines don't wear out, their owners kill them. And he was right. Most diesel trucks never make it past 150,000 miles, not because they're weak, but because the owners repeat small mistakes every single day that slowly destroy the engine, the seals, the injectors, the turbo, and everything in between. My truck, on the other hand, has already crossed 500,000 miles. Not because it's magic, but because I changed 10 simple habits. Today I'm breaking down those habits, and the last few might shock you because almost nobody does them. Yet they are the reason some diesel engines last forever, while others die before they even hit 100,000. 1. Coolant flushes matter more on diesel engines. Most people only think about coolant when a truck overheats. But coolant in a diesel engine does way more than people realize. And when you ignore it, the damage is brutal. Modern diesel engines run extremely hot, and most of them have aluminum heads. Aluminum is light, but it warps fast. At high temperatures, it bends like plastic. When coolant gets old, it loses corrosion protection, becomes acidic, starts eating the radiator from the inside, attacks the water pump, clogs heater cores, causes head gasket failure, Mixing random coolant colors, green, red, yellow, is even worse. It can turn into a thick gel and choke the entire system. My rule for diesel cooling systems, flush every three to five years. Only use the exact coolant type made for your engine. Never mix brands or colors. A single overheating event can kill a diesel permanently. That's why I treat coolant like a scheduled medicine, not an emergency fix. Two, never ignore weird noises Diesels talk before they break. A lot of people turn the radio up when they hear a new noise. That's how $50 problems turn into $5,000 disasters. Diesels always warn you when something is failing, if you listen. Examples. A squeal at start, belt or tensioner about to fail, a knocking sound while turning, bad ball joint or CV joint, a steady humming at speed, wheel bearing wearing out, a tapping from the top end, could be a sticky lifter or worn injector. One customer once ignored a tiny ticking sound. He thought it was nothing. Turned out he was running almost no oil pressure. By the time he came in, the engine was damaged so badly it needed a full rebuild. My rule became simple. When you hear a new noise, don't panic, investigate. Ask yourself, does it happen cold or hot? Only during turns? Only while accelerating? Only after bumps? That information can save thousands. At high mileage, one ignored sound can mean the end of a diesel. Three. Manual diesel? Don't abuse the clutch. If you drive a manual diesel truck, this habit is everything. Resting your foot lightly on the clutch might feel relaxing, but it burns the clutch every second your foot is there. Diesel clutches already deal with massive torque. Add foot pressure, and they wear out shockingly fast. I've seen diesel trucks need new clutches at 25,000 miles because the owners rode the pedal without realizing it. My rule of foot off the clutch unless you're shifting, at lights, neutral plus parking brake. On hills, parking brake, not half-pressed clutch. That's how I got almost 200,000 miles on one clutch. Most diesel drivers replace theirs two to three times in that same distance, just because of habit. Four, never run a diesel below one quarter tank. Diesel fuel systems are different from gas engines. The fuel pump sits in the tank and diesel itself keeps it cool. Running the tank too low causes pump overheating, fuel contamination, air bubbles entering the system, injector wear, sediment clogging filters. I've replaced diesel pumps with less than 50,000 miles simply because the owners kept driving on empty. And trust me, a diesel fuel pump is not cheap. With labor, you can easily hit $600 to $1,200. My rule is simple. Never let the tank drop below one quarter. It keeps the pump cool, the injectors happy, and the system clean. Five. Replace glow plugs and sensors. Early, not when they fail, gas engines rely on spark plugs. Diesels rely on glow plugs for cold starts. People think glow plugs last forever. Not true, especially in cold climates. Weak glow plugs can cause hard cold starts, white smoke, knocking, extra wear on the starter, fuel washing down cylinder walls. I started inspecting mine every 40,000 miles and replacing them before problems started. And most important, Never buy cheap glow plugs, only OEM or trusted brands. I once saw a diesel engine destroyed because a cheap glow plug broke off inside the cylinder. That repair cost over $2,000, all to save $30.
Keeping healthy glow plugs is like giving your diesel warm lungs. It starts smooth, idles steady, and lasts longer. 6. Don't ignore engine mounts. They protect more than you think. Most drivers never think about engine mounts until something feels off. But on diesel trucks, mounts work twice as hard because diesels vibrate more and produce heavier torque. When a mount wears out, it doesn't just make the truck shake, it quietly destroys other parts, cracks exhaust pipes, bends radiators, stresses the transmission, causes rough shifting, makes the whole truck feel sloppy. At first, it's a little vibration, then a light thump when you start the engine. Then suddenly, the engine is rocking like a washing machine. I've seen diesels where the mounts were so worn the engine was resting on the frame. My rule is check mounts every 60,000 to 80,000 miles. Replace the moment you feel excess movement. Test by putting it in drive, holding the brake, and giving a small rev. If the engine jumps or leans more than a couple inches, that mount is done. Fixing it early costs very little. Ignoring it destroys everything around it. 7. Wash the undercarriage. Rust is the true diesel killer. People love washing the outside of their truck, but ignore the part that actually keeps the truck alive, the undercarriage. Rust is silent. It sneaks in, spreads, and destroys from below. Brake lines rot, frame weakens, leaf springs corrode, fuel lines rust through, mounts crack. I've lifted trucks that look beautiful on top, but underneath the frame was so rotten you could poke holes with your finger. One winter on salted roads can start a rust chain reaction that never stops. My routine an undercarriage wash once a month in winter. Every two weeks if roads are salty or wet, apply anti-rust coating once a year. That simple habit kept my truck solid past 500,000 miles, while other trucks with just 60,000 miles were already being scrapped for rust. You can polish the paint all you want, but if the frame dies, the truck dies. 8. Never approve urgent repairs without proof. This habit isn't about the truck, it's about the shops that work on it. One major reason diesel trucks die early is that owners get tricked into useless services, while ignoring the things that actually matter. Dealerships train service advisors to sell repairs through fear. They show a long list of urgent items you never asked for. I've seen $400 coolant flushes on trucks with 20,000 miles. Emergency injector cleaning, that did nothing. Critical brake flushes when the fluid was fine. Random carbon cleanings on diesels that don't even need them. My rule is if they claim something is wrong, I want photos. If the shop pressures me, I get a second opinion. If the advisor uses fear, I simply say I show proof, not panic. That one line has saved me thousands. A diesel lasts forever when you spend money on the right things, not on sales tricks. 9. Keep battery terminals clean. Diesels hate weak electricity. This one sounds too simple to matter, but modern diesel trucks rely heavily on electronics. Dirty battery terminals create resistance. That resistance causes hard starts, sensor failures, dim lights, alternator overload, random misfires, dead batteries. People get stranded all the time because of a little white crust on the terminals. I've had customers ready to spend $900 on a new starter when all they needed was baking soda and a wire brush. My routine, check every three to four months, clean terminals if dirty, add a little dielectric grease to protect them. A diesel with weak electricity is like a body running low on oxygen. Everything works harder and everything wears out faster. Keeping clean terminals makes even an old diesel start like a brand new truck. 10. Always use the parking brake, even on flat ground. This is the most underrated habit of them all. Most people park their truck and think putting the gear selector into P is enough but P doesn't lock the wheels. It locks a tiny pin inside the transmission called a parking pile. When you park on a slope without using the handbrake, all the weight of a heavy diesel truck rests on that one tiny metal pin. Over time, it bends, cracks, eventually breaks. I've seen transmissions destroyed just because the driver didn't pull the parking brake. Repairs often cost $2,500 to $3,000. My rule, parking brake on first, then shift to P, uphill, downhill, even flat, Always use it. This habit costs nothing and saves one of the most expensive parts of your truck. Anyone who says they trust the transmission to hold the truck might as well use a paperclip to hold a garage door open. Same logic, same disaster. Before you go, don't forget this. Most drivers have no idea what's actually happening under the hood of their diesel truck, but you do now.
If you want more straight up, simple tips that actually protect your engine and save you money, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you never miss the next video. Got a diesel question or a weird problem your truck keeps doing? Drop it in the comments. I read every one of them.